Hello friends, I'm your friend Chetan Bona and you're watching Bola Moto. In this video, you are going to learn about EGR and EGR valve. EGR is the exhaust gas recirculation system. Please keep watching this video till the end. This video is a full information packed video. You are going to learn a lot of new things because while making this video, I learned a lot of new things. So please keep watching this video till the end. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe it right now and share this video to your friends also. EGR exhaust gas recirculation as the name suggests the exhaust gases are going to be recirculated inside the engine and then these gases are somehow going to reduce the NOx reduction so I will be I will be telling you about the working how they are reducing the NOx reduction so first of all I like to tell you from this diagram how the gases are recirculated this is the inlet valve when the piston goes down it sucks the air, uh, inlet air from here and then after combustion it emits the exhaust gases and when these exhaust gases are coming out partial amount of these exhaust gases are going to enter through this uh, through this port to this valve and then this port and then this valve is going to push these exhaust gases inside this inlet manifold again so partial amount of these exhaust gases are going to be in intake again by the engine so why why they are again taking these exhaust gases inside the engine so there are so many reasons why they are taking that first reason that i encountered is that because when the exhaust gases are coming out they are having some amount of unburnt hydrocarbons when these unburnt hydrocarbons are intake again inside the engine then these unburnt hydrocarbon will be again undergo will be again undergoing the combustion process and then this time they will be completely burned and also some unburnt carbon that is carbon monoxide is again going to enter inside the engine then they are again going to react with oxygen and then they will make carbon dioxide so this is how unburnt hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide are reduced in this process looking at it from from the nox prospect what happens is when these gases these exhaust gases again enters inside the engine these exhaust gases are almost inert that is they are not going to perform any combustion process since these gases are not going to perform any combustion uh, any combustion process so they are going to absorb the combustion process heat because they are inside it and they are going to absorb that heat that is produced because of the combustion compounds so when they are absorbing some heat so what happens is the in the peak temperature and pressure are not are not allowed to take place in the in the engine because uh, if for reaching a deep, uh, peak temperature the combustion process should be complete and uh, much efficient but the these these exhaust gases are going to going to absorb these uh, these combustion combustion temperature so uh, combustion heat energy so that's why the com the peak temperature is not going to reach and whenever the peak temperature reaches the NOx uh, the formation of NOx takes place, Be breaking of N2 and uh, uh, the oxidation of nitrogen for uh, makes the NOx gases. But if the peak temperature takes place, only then N2 is going to break. But uh, when these exhaust gases are there inside the engine, the peak temperature is not going to reach, and the pressure will be not that much higher. So that's why the NOx are going, to, uh, the N2 gas is not going to break, and the NOx will not form anymore. So this is how the NOx reduction is improved in this. In petrol engine, what happens is the uh, these exhaust gases are mixed with the combustible, combust combustible. They, they are replacing the combustible things from the air fuel mixture because they are replace. They are going to uh, have some uh, uh, take take some space. So this space is replacing the combustion uh, the air fuel mixture. So there will be less amount of com uh, combustible thing inside the the air fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. So that's why the l l lesser combustion will take place and hence lesser temperature on the other hand in the diesel in the diesel engines what happens is only the air is going to be sucked and in the air this exhaust gases are going to be mixed so in this way it is going to replace the oxygen so when it is replacing the oxygen some amount, some extent of oxygen is going to be replaced by this exhaust gases so in that way what happens is uh, if oxygen is reduced so obviously some less amount of combustion will be going to take place or if the combustion is less that peak temperature will be less and if the peak temperature is less the NOx, the NOx emission will be less. So in this way it works in petrol and diesel engine. Now there comes the role of EGR valve that most of you have seen or there are several other problems that takes place in the EGR valve. I would like to show you a diagram. There is a diagram which is showing the EGR valve and I would like to explain you how this works and why it is required. 
so EGR valve there this is the whole body of this EGR valve and you can see this is the uh, this is the port which is connected to the vacuum vacuum that is whenever the piston is going down it is going to be it is always connected to that uh, uh, that port and it is using that suction okay there is a spring there is a diaphragm and uh, after that there is a shaft and there is a valve this part is going is is connected with the exhaust thing exhaust uh, you can say exhaust manifold and this part is going to be connected with the inlet manifold so what happens is whenever there is uh, there is a suction stroke that is going to take place this suction uh, this suction stroke is going to uh, create some negative pressure inside this and when the negative pressure is created inside this this is going to pull up this diaphragm and when this diaphragm is pulled up this whole shaft is going to be pulled up because it is connected to this diaphragm and when this shaft goes up this valves open and if this whenever this valve open the exhaust gases rushes from this valve towards this and there is the inlet manifold and uh, the gases are coming like this and going like this so when these gases are going like this they are taking this exhaust gases with them so this is how the EGR valve works so uh, EGR uh, process is very much important in the automobile so as to uh, t uh, so as to control the emission norms and come into the emi uh, come come into the emission norms specified by the uh, and of the uh, authorizations. So this is how the EGR system works. I hope you have learned a lot of new things. If you didn't like this video, you can just like uh, just tell me. Let me know in the comment section so that I can improve myself. If you like this video, please let me know. This will give me some. Uh, happiness and satisfaction so that I have delivered you something good if you like this video please share this video to your friends if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe it right now please subscribe right now because I make two videos a week about automobiles you are going to learn great stuff right here I have made several videos prior to this channel on another channel you can please watch those videos there I, I will giving the link in the description you can please watch those videos Thanks so much for watching, keep watching, keep sharing and keep supporting guys.